Hello guys and good evening. So we are back to my channel, The Deep Sea Man, and this time we are back on the MEGIE engines. And today's video is about the basic startup checks that we must do, right from the walk around on the deck to the walk around in the engine room, a few warming up procedures, simple few checks that you must do, you must never forget before we fire your MEGIE engines on gas. Let's go. The first walk around is around your cylinder head, looking at your GIVs, all these small pipes, high pressure pipes connecting should be tight, their clamps should be tight, there shouldn't be any additional leaks. Then you move on to the double wall gas pipes, make sure that these drain plugs you open one or two random and there should be no sealing oil, there can be sealing oil or moisture carryover. Head on to the deck, the silencers that are there, they can have sealing oil carryover and in case your system trips this blow off could lead to an oil spray on deck so make sure that's clean there's no moisture there's no water in the line then you head on to the double wall pipes ensure the fans are free to rotate all the sensors are okay and then head into your cmr now you got to look at the fgss pumps the supply lines you got to go physically and check them then come back to the ccr operate these valves and make sure they're free to operate this is called as exercising of these valves only after that is when we will start the pumps and same with the PVU. Standalone SPS, we are going to warm up the tank. Right now it's just 24 degrees, not sufficient. So we started the pump in manual and we'll slowly increase this pressure. That will help us uh, increase the temperature. The initial pressure of the SPS is about 10 bar. So this will open the proportional valve in such a way so that it maintains 10 bar in the system. During this process, we need to go out there and physically check for any leaks. Once everything is verified, we increase the pressure that will actually increase the temperature because of the circulation of the oil. And only then will we increase the pressure and increase the temperature. And once all that is done, then we will get the standby from this HPS. Now over to the GVT, the gas valve train, the complete block where you have your valves, the 852, 808, and all the other valves. I hope you remember the numbers. So these valves are pneumatic valves and need to be exercised, especially when the ambient temperature is a little cooler, they tend to get stuck. So we have a spare air connection. You can see that I am exercising the valves. It's open, close, open, close. I do this to each and every single valve that's there in this to prevent a sluggish or a delayed operation of the valve. So we are done exercising these valves. We put back the valve, the air cock to the normal position. So we've had the engine burning on gas. Here are my gas curves. The gas channel pressure is the yellow one. The red one is the cylinder pressure. I go back and I will also see my gas index versus my fuel index. There you can see the fuel index and the gas index. They have crossed over right here. So now the gas has completely taken over and fuel is just going as minimum as the pilot. Very visible even from this, the main index, the light color is the, is the gas. The darker color is the fuel index, the pilot fuel. Dual fuel running, the SF pipes. SF means secondary fuel and so that's a good trial in gas. Gas running good, systems running okay. That's it for now, bye-bye. The fuel gas supply pumps, the pipelines on deck need to be checked. The vent gas knockout drum needs to be checked. FGSS inlet filters, the PVU inlet filter, PVU outlet filter, which is on the high pressure side, the master gas valve, the glycol pumps, the steam systems need to be checked, the PVU, the hot end, the cold ends, the HP room where the hydraulics are, and finally the nitrogen air compressor, that needs to be in perfect working condition. You start your sealing oil pump, your SCUSU scope where you get the gas channel events. That was a quick run through of the system, a quick run through of this MEGI uh, pre-setup. It's very similar even on your LNGs where you have your M MEGI. I can't say exactly similar, but very similar like your gas valve trains. Yes, you got to ease them up. You got to look at your silencers for the sealing oil. You can't miss those things out and definitely your company checklist, your gas burning checklist, you need to follow that to the T. This video is just a brief run through where you don't miss out the certain things, the physical things, but your company's checklist is your topmost priority. That's it for me. Bye-bye. The Deep Sea Man out.